Okay, we're going for the capital. Huzzah! And I'm going to split you in half. I'm just going to attack them to make sure we lock them down so they don't try and come reinforce. Because that would just be annoying. And inconsiderate. Alright, production efficiency and efficiency growth. Marvellous. My research is advancing very quickly. Let's get experimental rockets going so that we can get jets. Check division organization again, please. These guys are 50 now because of the bonuses to uh, infantry units. Which is far more effective. This is an acceptable... I This, this is a decent template. I quite like this template. <laughs> huge amount of soft attack and huge amount of defense. Just anything infantry will just crumble. They'll struggle a bit more against armor, though. And they have no armor of their own. So if someone else uses soft attack against us, then we are screwed. Although we don't have that much manpower because we have so many very heavy, non-manpower heavy units. Motorized unit would be a different matter, though. They they, they do have 20,000 manpower per unit versus the 15,000. My motorized units actually have more manpower than the other one. That's funny. They also have more defense, which is hilarious. Less organization, but that's kind of expected. I like how Italy and Switzerland are neutral. Well, um, Italy was very important against uh, the Internationale in France. They, they opened up another flank, which was kind of important, actually. So right now, my plan is to basically take the south, and then that will allow me to consolidate just one border along the top, and then just push north. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't fighting against this entire wedge, if at all possible. And there we go. The uh, Buenos Aires uh, has fallen. And La Plata is on the verge of defeat, as is Brazil, as is Venezuela. Excellent. Uh, you don't have many victory points left. You really don't have many victory points left. We're attacking from here. I am okay with that. Ah, you're almost ready. Excellent. Then we can actually bring some fast units down here where it's completely empty. It'll be great. Uh, could you, in that case, one of you, hi, um, take that so I can use the port and just ship in my hussars like straight away. Are you in a port? You are in a port. Excellent. It's, it's almost like I was planning for this eventuality. Wait for them to capitulate Chile. I kind of doubt they will. In fact, I'm very sure that they won't. Just because we're putting so much pressure on them, they simply don't have the troops left to fight against Chile. We're ready! Huzzah! Head on off! I mean, it's, it's a long distance to sail, but awesome! Construction 5. Yay, more building. And more repairing. That is construction stuff basically dealt with. Do I need radar? I don't think we really need radar. Uh, we could do this. Operational integrity is for fighters, usually. Fighters and tactical bombers, so we'll go ahead and do that. Lend lease from you, sure. Oh, blimey, they are winning as well. No, they're not. They're losing horribly. Because Chile's the defender. Other circumstances are definitely um, making conquest of Chile difficult. Floating airfields. And then, finally, Grand Battle Fleet. Battleship, battle cruiser, and heavy cruiser organization bonuses. Naval AA attack bonus. Capital ship attack bonus. Great ability. I like that one. Right, where are my horses? I mean, vroom vrooms. Where are my go karts? Bring on the go karts! Must have my go karts. Oh, and you're almost done training. Awesome. 
I'm surprised we had the equipment for you. There it is, 100%. Ha-ha! How big are the Entente navies? They're still pretty sizable. I mean, Japan might have whittled them down a bit. Let's have a look at Japan first of all. 99 ships. Russia has 81. Canada has 96. France has 50. Portugal has 19. Uh, Norway has... Oh, only 9. Norway has less than I thought they would. Call to arms, same battle. Call to arms, same battle. Non-aggression from Chile. No. Well, they're not armoured. These are just go-karts. They're, um, they're rockety go-karts. Rocket-powered go-karts. The plot is capitulated. Excellent. See? Rocket-powered go-karts. <laughs> Um, and these do have hardness, so they will be somewhat tougher than my infantry units. Right, so you guys need new orders. I'm going to say let's take out Brazil first. And then we'll go for Bolivia. Oh, we won. Right, so this is definitely one of those situations where I take everything. I might give the allies a little bit up there. Um, so generally, I'm going to pass a couple of times so I get points. Oh, wow, they literally gave all the points to me. Do they not want anything then? It certainly looks that way. Well, I'm taking this stuff. Like, Argentina and most of Brazil are mine. Clearly. The restoration and expansion of the rightful Portuguese Empire. Plus the Falklands. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm taking the rubber. Because obviously the rubber is mine. Um, I could give you this bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this to the Caribbean Federation. It's a bit more land, uh, which is the Caribbean Federation. I mean, you lost a lot of troops, so you deserve something. So you can have that bit. In turn, is there anything left? Oh, right. Oh, right. You have Venezuela. I should have given you Venezuela. They can have Venezuela. That's a lot of oil for Venezuela. Uh, Caribbean. Should have just given them Venezuela, then I take this bit, because that's looking horrible now. Why have I not taken Piratini? Yeah, I think I probably will reload that. What's the day? Be like 15 days away. Screw it, we'll do it. Gotta get this right. Now that I know they took Venezuela, I think it's legit if they take that, so it's fine. Like, Brazil is what I was fighting for in the first place. Brazil is mine, damn it. Canada did not reform the UK, no. They took it, and then did not form it. Do 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 Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, the game has actually crashed. Okay, we're not waiting for anything. <laughs> I was just looking at my desktop, because usually the game just kind of crashes into the background. This is just how Hearts of Iron usually behaves me. It crashes into the background, but it's still actually loading. No, this time it actually legit 100% crashed. I was just staring at Steam. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording while this... 
All right, we're back. <laughs> La Plata has capitulated. Excellent. We got resources. Uh, the hostiles never actually made it, but that's fine. Peace deal will occur this... Oh, no, that was La Plata, not Brazil. Let's make... No, no, Brazil's a puppet. It's Peru that we'd have to be, isn't it? Wait, why is that so long? I did not make that line so long. Oh, that's a different line. Uh, screw that line. We don't like that line. Alright, start that again. You lot, assign to there. Go. And attack. Everything up to there. Go. Go. Right. Pass, 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 pass. 538,000 points. Not sure that's going to be enough. So. Caribbean Federation gets Venezuela. All of it. I get Piratani, La Plata, and Brazil. Whoops. Done. There we go. That's how it should have looked. Fate of La Plata. Nope, we're occupying it. Fate of Brazil. No, we're occupying it. And we have a bunch more factories, which I will deal with in a moment. In the meantime, I'm still at war with Peru and Bolivia. So we'll need to go and deal with them. As is appropriate. <laughs> I'll get my last call now. Huzzah. All right, cool. Nice one, Trudling. Thank you. Appreciate that. And that has indeed come through on Patreon. So we'll see you tomorrow for the multiplayer seven days. Uh, you are on Discord, I believe, and you should be automatically connected to the Discord things, which means that you should get information. If you don't, send me a message on Di uh, Patreon, and we'll make sure that gets sorted out. Like, so long as you connect your Patreon account to your Discord account, it should all be automatic. It's kind of nice in that way. Right, what do I want to make? I want to make more of these. Many, 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 many more of those. Also, ah. Ah, we can build more ships. I think I would like to do that. I'm just going to build some of both. Yes. And we'll need to buy in resources. So I'm not going to buy from the American Union state anymore. Uh, actually, we probably need to buy some from them. I'm going to buy a bit from the Caribbean. I'm not going to buy as much rub. I'm not going to buy any rubber anymore, seeing as I'm now a net rubber producer. And we're going to buy our steel from Canada. Canada's actually been really good to us through this game, so we'll do that. Need more oil. That's because the Caribbean's not by sending me any oil. All right, fine. I won't trade with you. How's Venezuela still alive? Oh, they released them. Oh, you're an idiot. I got another y'all. No, I didn't. Oh, I think that's just Schmidt. He just changed his name. Pretty sure. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal if I got another y'all. Hang on, I need to check this. Um, pretty sure I didn't. No. Oh, man. <laughs> One dollar away from the audio quality improvement thing, which I've already totally bought. It's these headset. And hopefully the audio has improved as a result, but yeah. Wow, one dollar away. Sweet. Okay, um... What was I going to do? I was going to attack Bolivia and Peru, and then after that, I'm actually going to go and help the Entente in their wars. Oh, when you're in a position, yeah, go ahead and just attack. I mean, we got Mountaineers, we should be able to just crush face, frankly. <laughs> yeah, words. The breadth of my grammatical and uh, vocabulary knowledge right now is tremendous. I just want the one. Have you, train you up. 
Have you guys arrived yet? Important question. Nope, you're still at sea. I can have you charging up through here, though. Strategic redeploy. You should move super quickly. Like, just motorized and motorized rockets will just be... They'll make go-karts look like a buggy pushed by an old person, in comparison. Alright, let's do this. Off we go! What nation would I reckon is the most powerful at the moment? Probably Canada. Maybe French Empire. Probably Canada. I would say probably Canada. Because they, don't forget, have the UK and Canada, and Canada's already very industrial. While the French Empire does have Northern Africa, but Northern Africa just... It's not Canada. Um, outside of that, Russia, probably. Maybe Germany. I mean, Germany's taken a lot. And Germany has a very powerful and very compacted alliance. Like, fighting Germany would be tough, because all of the troops are here. Well, here. While with the Entente, we're all over the frickin' world. It'll take us a while to muster. Once the Entente gets going, very hard to stop. But if you're able to take out a few key people in the early days, then it's over. How's Japan doing? Japan is struggling. Actually, no, Mongolia is Japanese. They are actually winning, because look, this strip is taken away from Russia. So they are beating Russia, but that's because I... <laughs> I kind of, sort of... Um, distracted Russia. Right, where are my Huskar? Uh, not Huskars. Hussars! They sound so similar. I actually want you going here, I think, and we're just going to drive through and... Damn it! Didn't get there in time. You're not fast enough! go here. Who do I suppose is the most varied focus tree aside from American successors in Russia? Most varied? Not sure. I mean, in terms of just flexibility and different possible outcomes, Austria, maybe. Japan, probably, would be in there. Austria and Japan, I would say. Oh, you abandoned it. Alright then. I'm totally going to punish you for this fact. Yeah, I haven't played as I am yet, so I don't... Oh, another patron. Another Huskull! Blimey! <laughs> Today is a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, thank you for your support. It really is appreciated. And more... More people for the uh, Seven Days game tomorrow. Which is awesome! So make sure you get it and have it all patched up and stuff. Ah, You fortified Laplace. Well, that's just because I have no organization. I took all of this with no organization. In fact, can I get a cut off it? Oh, I totally could. Ah, oh, you fortified it. Cheeky! Alright, we'll go back here. We'll just take this stuff from behind you. While my regular infantry guys catch up. Well, it'll still be streamed if you want to watch the uh, the carnage. And it will be carnage. Like, we were starting to reach the stage where some of the tougher zombies start appearing. Like the acid spitters. Oh man, those things are hardcore. And climbers. Well, we've already seen climbers. We haven't seen many uh, bees or vultures yet either, though they're starting to appear. Downfall and stability, uh, that's not surprising. How is my repair situation right now? It's pretty bad, so no, I'm going to continue keeping the repair bonuses. That's fine. Uh, 
don't think that Charles or um, Eagle knew much about the game either when they first started. It, it's definitely one that you can just pick up. I mean, the great thing is, at its heart, it's a shooter, so you, as long as you're pointing your gun or your bow or whatever at the enemy's head, you tend to beat them. Um, but then there is a lot more to it because you have crafting, you have building, but that's all stuff that you can just work out later on. Pozenik, take that dollar. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This has become a really good day. <laughs> I thought yesterday was a good day with pizza and watching Logan because I hadn't seen that film yet. Today is, is, is definitely getting up there. <laughs> uh, Triad's still trying to send me volunteers. I don't think I will. Yeah, we did relocate. Alright, we've taken that bit out. Are you letting me come behind you? You totally are. Mistake! Advanced artillery! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that is a 43 tech. Let's get another 10% soft attack. Yay! Oh, speaking of which, I can probably get soft rocket attack too. Why do I keep clicking on my focus for that? Uh, you. Yes, I could. I could even get the advanced rockets. Um, you know what? You. Grab these instead, because this is a 15% bonus. Get that instead. It's a bigger bonus. Plus, they have more soft attack anyway, so overall it's just a bigger benefit. Free money. <laughs> it's not exactly free. I, I do work for it. It's just the the way that we get paid is a little bit different from conventional systems. Uh, right, so I do need to build advanced artillery. Make it happen. And how otherwise is this fight going? I only need to beat Peru. So if I can get to Lima with my go-karts, then that would be great. Uh, what were they called? In fact, I I have a name for this. Uh, what were they? It was... No, no, no. So it's da, 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 da. There we go. Strakog. This is the Strakog company. It's basically you pay what you want for the system for entertainment. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want your triad syndicate peoples defending Portuguese imperialism. I mean democracy. I mean liberty. I mean power. All the power. Yeah, Strakog is definitely something I'm going to have to remember to use more in the future. Also, that's a point. Um, aha! It's appeared! Unfortunately, it's the more expensive Twitch sub because I just could not change it. Basically, the way it works with Twitch is you can have three emotes, one for the um, $5 tier, one for the $15 tier, and one for the $25 tier. There is not an emote for the 25 and I had to make a choice between the Mordred emote and then the go-kart for the 15 But yeah, it exists. It exists. And if Twitch, better Twitch TV, ever actually starts working, then everyone will be able to use that. But it does not seem to be working. No, that's not going to happen, Master Matt. <laughs> it's just not. Um, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, um, I don't really know how the better Twitch TV emote stuff works, that is not something I've looked at. I have connected Discord, so basically any emotes that are on Discord should be working on Twitch TV. I'm going to look, oh wait, hang on. Because my chat is not in a normal tab. So I'm wondering if I go into here. Twitch settings are located in the Twitch chat on the Twitch website. You can right click this icon, hide it. No, I don't want to hide that. In here, 